We're standing here at Cougar Point. This is the old cabana that's been here forever. I don't know when that thing was built. We have pictures from family reunions that the Hicks family had up here from the 1950s. It's been here a long time. But growing up, um, we spent a lot of time up here. This is uh, in my last story. I talked about camping up here with my friend in the middle of the winter. But it's just up Williams Creek, past the first set of switchbacks. It's a nice area. You can take this little trail. It goes up 100 yards, and you can look out over the whole canyon. Trees are in the way right here, but it's a beautiful sight. It's really pretty. That's why they call it Cougar Point. So I've had a lot of memories. This road right here, as I mentioned, this is the first set of switchbacks starting right here going down. You go on up this road and it takes about oh, two miles or so to the top of the pass. But in the winter time, that uh, road it gets graded, but it's hard packed snow. And uh, so we would go to the top of Williams Creek, right up at the top. And uh, we would uh, ride our sleds down to the point here, and then somebody would be here to pick us up and take us back up to the top. But uh, when, the last year I did that was when I was about 18 years old. And I clocked those sleds at 35 miles per hour. So you pick up some good speed. And that's on my little radio flyer. But anyway, that last year that, uh, that we did that, that I was involved, um, my hat pulled up on my head a little too far and my ear froze, this left ear. It froze solid. It was so solid, it was like ice. I couldn't bend it. There was no flexibility whatsoever in my ear. And it kind of scared me because I heard all the horror stories of people freezing their ears and having them fall off. Getting frostbite on your toes and having them fall off, turn black and do all those weird things. So I thought for sure I was going to lose my ear. And I was going to go the rest of my life looking kind of strange with no ear on my left side of my head. So uh, I pulled my hat down low and put my hand over it and warmed my ear up a little bit. And... Uh, Kept on sleigh riding. Didn't want to miss out on any more uh, fun, you know, how that goes. And uh, it took about a year for my ear to heal up. But uh, yeah, it healed up. It unthawed. Had a big scab on it for a while. Of course, it got frostbite. It, looked, it was colored weird. But nothing fell off. And, uh, and I can still hear out of it still picks up sound so good to go that's how it goes